Welcome to the Daily App Show iPad edition. Today we're going to take a look at ISME Storage, an app for the iPad that we've actually taken a look at on the iPod or the iPhone before. This is a great application for those of you who like to bring a lot of files along with you but obviously are limited to the restraints of the device that you have, the size of the device. You know, on the iPhone, 32 gigabytes. On the iPad, even 64 gigabytes. Maybe you didn't want to spend several extra hundred dollars on a 64 gigabyte iPad and you just have the entry-level iPad. That is totally fine with an app like this because you can store all of your data off-site, which makes it really nice. You can use multiple cloud systems like Amazon S3 server, lots of different cloud providers we can tap right here and we can add from any of these cloud providers, whether it be our Gmail, our SkyDrive with MSN, our iDisk with MobileMe, Google Docs, a WebDAV, Amazon S3, Live Mesh, another version of SkyDrive that looks like here, and uh, SME Storage with Amazon. So we can also add additional cloud providers here with our data information just we log in simply with our information we even have box.net uh, and live mesh some other ones to add to the list as well so what's nice is that you can have all of these in one application this is something that's different than pretty much all other applications out there most applications work with one service perhaps Google Docs you know the application allows you to work and sync just with Google Docs or maybe with Amazon S3 but it doesn't let you do all of these services at once so once you have those set up you can go and view all of your cloud files. So I could just tap right here on my cloud files and it's going to take me in and show me a list of all of my files. And it's even going to show me bins like with my Gmail files, my Google Docs files, my MobileMe files, SkyDrive, and all of that. And then there are just other files in here as well. And I can tap on any of these at any time. Like this is a doc file, you know, like a Microsoft Word document. I could tap on that. I can view information about it. I can open it, download it to my device. I could send a link to it to somebody else so that they can download it. I can share it. I can add it or remove it to my favorites, make it public, add it to my clipboard. So many different things that I can do with my data on in, in this application. So let's just tap open. It's going to go ahead and download this. You can see it's a 167 kilobyte file, which isn't big, but it isn't tiny either. So it may take a second for it to download and then open. So what it's going to do is offer me solutions for opening this file as soon as it continues and finishes downloading it. So we're just waiting here for a second for it to download and then we'll have the option to open it up in an application on our iPad device. So this works really well. It doesn't only work with just doc files. It works with, uh, of course, pretty much any file. You do need some special applications to open it. Like in this instance, we can open it in SME storage, and that's the only application that I have on my iPad that would open this file. So now I can view and read this Word document. Very easy Word document. Of course, that's pretty simple. So what about other files like .avi movies or, uh, of course, you know, we have audio files and PNG images and different stuff like that. We can do and open those in this application. And, of course, if it's a file that's not supported by this application, you would just need another app on your iPad that, of course, could open that file. You know, so if it was like a specialty type file, that typically wouldn't be able to be opened in uh, most applications. So all of these different sections here, very easy to, of course, get our files in and out of those. So we also can create cloud memos, cloud voice memos. We can view all of our shared files. See, all we have to do is tap right here, and we can record a new voice memo right into the application and share that on our server and then send that to people. We can remote file upload, which means that from our computer, we can upload files right into our cloud system as well, so that that way we have all of these files available. I have a cloud system that I use, a service that I use, where I can access all of the files that I need, like client contracts, different things like that. When I'm out and about, I can just pull them up at any time and have that all right here. 
there are background tasks now available in this application. Of course, we can empty the trash here if we have trash items, and it will go ahead and do this uh, in the background. Grouping things together is really easy across multiple cloud solutions. One of the nice things about this is that a lot of these cloud service providers offer a certain amount of memory for free that you can use. And so with this application, you can stack those free accounts. And then if you find yourself running out of space, then of course you can pay for their services also. What's really nice is that uh, these aren't too expensive as far as the media. So right here we have our favorites. I can open up any of these items. Here we have an Excel spreadsheet. I'll just tap to open this Excel spreadsheet and I can view that. It also shows me all of this information here. Uh, and you can see here are those two fields that are in this test Excel spreadsheet. So I can view those right in this application. Or of course if I had an application on my iPad that natively viewed Excel spreadsheets, I can open that in that program as well. So in here, you know, we have our favorites. It's very easy to remove an item from favorites just by tapping here. If we go back, then you'll see that this item is no longer in blue. Uh, it is not a favorited item anymore, and it will be removed from this section. We can also store files locally because, of course, we're not always connected to an internet connection with our iPad. So if you know you're going to need some files uh, and you're not going to be connected to the internet, you can always download those files into your device here and then save those. And, of course, we can create folders and organize our local files right here. And then when we're done, we can, of course, remove them from our local storage and free up space on our iPad so that we have more space for our music and movies and everything else. So the cloud providers, basically what you're just going to need is some accounts over at one of these, at least one of these different cloud providers here. Uh, some of them you may already have and just not know that they provide storage like Gmail. Uh, maybe you didn't know. But uh, I suggest Box.net's really good. Amazon S3 is a little more difficult to set up but is very good and very inexpensive. Uh, and of course, if you have a Google Docs account or something like that, those work really well. I use MobileMe, you know, to keep my iPhone in sync and my iPad in sync and everything. Uh, a lot of you probably have MobileMe, and so automatically you can use this application with your MobileMe. So there's a lot of storage that you may already have uh, that you just didn't know that would work with this application. You didn't know that you're going to have the capability of being able to sync files back and forth, keep them stored off-site so that you keep space free on your iPad. That's the number one purpose of this application, having those files available without it taking up all of your space on your iPad. So ISME storage, definitely awesome. You can see here all the different organization styles that we have, the ways that we can keep our files organized, even being uh, that we can make them secure here as well by going in and, of course, protecting those files. Because if somebody was to open this application, they can have access to our files. And, of course, we wouldn't want that. So we can, of course, lock them and make them secure as well. So lots of cool things that this app does. Really recommend that you check it out if you are in need of some sort of a solution for accessing files, preferably even larger ones, because you can store them off-site and access them at any time. So check out ISME Storage in the App Store today.